Hello and welcome. I'm here inside the chemistry lab at the Army Public School, Bolaram in Sikandrabad. And with me is Ma'am Lindsay Benny. Uh, and she's going to tell us about what strategies and tips students should follow for CBSE Class 10, this science paper. Thank you very much for your time, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, let's start with physics. Uh, which are the chapters which students find more tricky? Probably they leave it till the last moment, okay. ki last minute, pe padenge, uh, and uh, not you know uh, postpone it till the last minute. So, what would you tell students what they should do as far as these tricky chapters are concerned? Yeah, uh, it's very interesting to know that CBSE uh, paper is one paper we cannot predict anything. Hmm. We maybe prepare for something and something else appears in the paper. Hmm. So uh, as an advice for all the three sciences, physics, chemistry and biology, we need to know the NCRT very, very well. You know, what is important for you may not be important for the one who is setting the paper. So it is very important for us to know every line of the text. So there is, there is nothing that this, you know, if you, very interesting, if you look at the curriculum, very, every subject has a specific weightage. It's equally, like in physics, we have uh, chems, uh, the electricity, magnetism, light, equal weightage for all. So there is not that this one chapter is, you know, is going to be heavy and another chapter is light and we can ignore one and, yes. So in that sense, they need to pay attention, equal attention to all the subjects, all the chapters. Yes. But are there chapters, for instance, taking off from your pre-board papers, which you must yes. be having now, which are the areas where students seem to be making, or at least more number of students seem to be making similar kind of mis mistakes. Let's start with physics. Yeah, it's very, you know, uh, see, maybe uh, it's conceptual problem. You know, we cannot, as I already told you, the, we cannot predict the question. So if you know a content base, so you know the content well, any question you can face. So every time we give them varied questions and they're not, maybe the same answer, for, for, but they're not able to understand the question. That therefore, the, the concept is not clear. If you understand the concept, I really am not able to pick up one, uh, uh, you know, one particular chapter that you must stress on this. Hmm. Because that's very interesting about the uh, paper is, as such. Is it because that when they read the NCRT textbook, they go by the language of the NCRT textbook, whereas in the question paper, the way the question would be phrased would be very different and that will end up confusing the students. Yes, that, that is one thing. The way of questioning is quite different and it's very unique every time. Mm. You know, we, able, we appreciate the papers that these CBSC is able to produce mm. because the paper is quite different from maybe why, why uh, like we have uh, 15 questions mm. from physics, mm. why are uh, all those 15 not appearing in the board paper? Oh, okay. So the thinking is different, lateral, it's an out of the box question. So the so if a student is able so to what would you tell the student what what should be their strategy in the yeah, last one so month before I, I believe no I believe I tell my children also in school here mm. then you you should make something called a passbook that's a tip for all children make a passbook you know when you go to the bank the, there is entry uh, the uh, you know the same way you please make a, make a separate notebook, you know, mm. that's a good tip. Keep all your uh, uh, definitions in one part of the book. Write all your uh, uh, chemical formulae. Formula. Draw all the diagrams. Mm. So in this way, and you know, the, and it's so easy if another, then if you have them all together, mm. you don't have to keep searching for them in the textbook. They're all together in one place. Right. Yeah. So this is one. Uh, you mentioned diagrams. Now diagrams again. Uh, is it artistic ability, neatness, or accuracy? Let that me let me be very specific. The neatness won't give you any mark. Hmm. Labeling is very important. Like for the heart, the left and the right people get confused. Or you write a for uh, write a, uh, you know labeling should be specific. Hmm. Angle of incidence. Let hmm. me take physics. Angle of incidence and angle of emergence. They are all specific. You should know the specific uh, a angle. Hmm. It's not that a general diagram can be drawn. Hmm. You mentioned physics and physics. Another thing which is a phobia for most students is the numerical part where they go wrong. Now is it an inability to one as you mentioned understanding of the concept? 
or it is to apply okay this is what we need to apply in order to solve this particular numerical it is very sad that they do math well and they're not able to solve a simple numerical of physics mm. this because you show you have to whatever you know you have to just apply mm. a simple formula simply substitute those values and just answer the question mm. it every child you can do it mm. it's just a mind block in you know my god i've not seen a question like this you just you have to you know track down even you it's, uh, here i would like to hmm. add on that you need to read the question very well hmm. it you need to understand you know cbse gives us one paragraph question there will be multiple questions so you take your pencil while during the reading time and underline the important the questions maybe there are four questions hmm. you ensure that you have four bits a b c d hmm. and each question will have a you know a specific answer and you simply do it so you need to read the question well for example you say convex they will read only convex is it a convex mirror is it a convex lens so that it's a that's so why go through don't assume we uh, many students assume that the i thought the question was this this is not your job they have already thought about the question you have to only answer to the question asked so uh, i mean i'm not talking about the students who ended up in the 50% 60% yeah. 65% category because they may not have prepared the syllabus yes. in the pre board exams yes. i'm uh, let me focus on the students who land up in the 75 to yes. uh, 85 80. bracket uh, because they to 85. yeah because they show that they have the potential to do better what are the kind of mistakes that this category has made in the pre board examinations which they should definitely try and avoid in the yes like i have very good children who did not do so well hmm. some of them said mom uh, i got scared i got confused i was not able to apply the right formula i knew the answer very well but i did not it did just, just so it's this presence of mind or a kind of tension that these children develop in the examination of it's a fear which definitely is unwarranted we have to just calm ourselves down and you know you read a question you never just let's see we, we i've never seen this way i'm i'm the top and i've never seen this question go down to the chapter where this question is from then you go down to the topic and you'll realize that it's so easy like a child came to me and said mom i'm not able to solve this question i said see you do this you do this you do this, which you did not do in the examination hall you have to simply apply all that you have learnt in the hall in terms of time management finally ma'am yes. uh, is there a particular sequence that you yeah. would suggest the students should follow yes i would suggest that they follow the four mark question the five mark question the 3 2 and 1 because this in is, that order in this order the question paper comes in 1 2 3 5 and 4 mm. i would suggest 4 5 3 2 and 1 mm. because i find i find most of the children are unable to do those five and give sufficient justice to those five and four mark questions while they have wasted all that time doing the mcqs okay and with regard to mcqs is there i mean the obvious thing would be the elimination method but does the same method apply even to a subject like science see with sometimes it may be confusing mm. most of the time i find that it's very it's not they they're not trying to trick you they're mm. trying to know whether you no or not hmm. yeah so you can it's it's not very difficult at all okay. it's this because your preparation has not been no when you're so. talking about preparation yeah. one of course is to know the ncert as you said very thoroughly but when it comes to mcqs and these four to five mark questions do the students adopt a slightly different approach uh, so that they can do well in both yes so when you read the te textbook you know reading textbook here another tip hmm. most of the time let's say i start the chapter 1 uh today i start with chapter 1 i'm not able to read the whole lesson then i close i go on to the next uh subject mm. and tomorrow i start again with chapter 1 from the same place a uh, point is you place a bookmark and then you continue uh, reading the complete chapter and maybe making tally marks like mm. i've read this chapter 1 once mm. i've read this chapter 1 twice Once. i've read this chapter 1 uh, chapter 1 thrice mm. that will tell you and making one liners as you read you read a sentence mm. and you want can i make a question or no no this doesn't make a good question out of this sentence mm. finally mm. ma'am uh, ncert is done we have done the pre board papers all that is fine uh, should they look to kind of solve more sample papers at this time in the last one month yes, what sample paper is good sir mm. so, i always say if you want to answer a sample paper don't randomly answer any paper 
it is so maybe you, you want to answer a science sample paper today at four o'clock in mm. the evening whole day you should finish prepre uh, preparing the whole the whole and you should simulate an exam at most exam at most at four o'clock switch off everything close everything sit for the next three and a half hours mm. and answer the paper only in this manner there is any benefit else it is only you know it's uh, it's not it's you're only not, practice you're, yeah. you're not getting that exam fear you ensure make an exam fear out of it at home it definitely will help it okay fine thank you very much for thank all you, the details and your time thank, thank you, you.